all harassment invaders in our privacy. How many times have you broken those rules, Victor? Oh, but when it's to us, you don't. Know, it's invasion or it's invasion of privacy harassment, though, home. Huh? But I guess what you did to Jack and Phyllis wasn't none of those, right? So it's okay for you, though, that it's harassment and invasion of privacy because it's you, right? Mm hmm. Because it's you, right, Victor? Mm hmm. It only applies to you, not nobody else, right? You get to invade somebody else's life, but they can't invade yours for once in your life. Oh, okay. It's both, M I S T E R, both. Because you did both, and now you denying both. So it's both. Why, well, damn. Luca said, since I can't get my way, y'all won't let me in the new man. So you get here, hostage. You get here, hostage. You get here, hostage, till I get my little spoiled bread ass in the new man. So he don't want to hurt her. Mm -hmm. But you want to get in the new man, though, huh? We'll try to go ahead and get home a 0.1% of a stock where he can go on away. Oh, wait. He want to get in the new man, so never mind. Lord have mercy, Luca. You done made a 10th hour for yourself. Don't let Nick or Phyllis find out about this. They're going to fuck you up. I feel sorry for you, Luca, after that one. Because Nick going to kill you. You going to be going to pray out some um, uh, um, first degree murder charter on his head now. But they're fucking with his daughter like that, trying to hold his daughter hostage. You know you don't fuck with none of the new children. Them bitches might be dysfunctional as fucking can't think for themselves. But when it come to family and their children, oh, that will kill a bitch. If somebody don't get close with some stitches, that bitch always snitching. Please, somebody help us out and give her some stitches. She deserves some off of the Adam shit and everything else under the sun. That bitch always snitching. She get on my damn nerves. Oh, God. Here come boy Winkle Billy, old insecure ass, worrying about this man and worrying about that damn book, what Johnny wants, Johnny gets. Yeah, he gonna be a little spoiled for her, cause we see that right now. And now he got the nerve to have his big head, forehead ass up here asking questions about Victoria and this boy. Billy, you lost that means and opportunity when you got a divorce from her. Don't let Jill pump it in your head that you're going to get Victoria back because that's never going to happen. I'm here to tell you that ain't going to happen. So you can cancel that shit. And after you sneaking to getting in somebody's house, come out to a damn book, go buy another one. You got money. Better yet, get Jill a credit card. Your ass is a... Talking about some book. Boy, you could have went to the store and got a book. Hell, you could have got one overnight or whatnot. Your ass sneaky as fuck. You know the way, you know how the fuck your ass came to that damn dog. Cause I'm pretty sure you saw him at that party. Oh, he going back to Victoria. Let me go in there, sneak in there, see what's going on. And then you come all out of line. to pick ask this man question like you talking about the Billy, we laughing at you. We laughing at you, cause we don't take you serious no more. You done lost all your, your respect. The little acts of respect you did have, you can go on with that shit. Is he about to have a heart attack or he about to pass out in two seconds? <sighs> you must be looking at <sighs> Damn it. Luke, I think you need an asthma pump. I, I, you need an asthma pump, buddy. Sound like you about to die, buddy. I hope you ain't about to die on your scene. I, I ain't a fan of you, but that don't mean I want to see you dead neither. If you don't get that breathing under control, something like a damn car resting for air. Yeah, Dylan. It'll be a chilly day in here for y'all catching you at the full damn crime. Good luck with good luck with that, but I secretly am rooting for you that you get his ass this time and see him back to prison. Cause y'all yeah, see he ain't learned his fucking lesson yet. I love to see the day, but yeah, that's gonna be a past turn and another chilly day in here. That ain't gonna happen. So you keep wishful thinking there, dealing. It's good for you. Oh, so that's love holding your fiance hostage. Well, as that love, I want no part of that motherfucking shit. Well, that ain't love. That's called trying to get my win. Now I'm acting like a brat because I ain't get my way. So I decided I hold a couple of people hostage. What the hell? It's a crime, but if I get my way, who gonna be counting? And who really gonna report me to, to the um report me to the police? 
Boy, 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 boy. It's amazing how you met the how you how you mentioned Victor and tell him what Victor might do to you. And that's amazing how he let her go quick and talk about some he's sorry. Yeah, Victor still gonna get your ass for putting the hair on or harming the hair on her head. You held her hostage for 2.2 seconds. Victor still gonna get in your ass about that. And you better hope Nick don't find out cause Nick gonna use your ass as a puncher bag. Cause he ain't punched no puncher bag and I don't know how many months yet. So he'll be glad to use you as a, a brand new fresh punching bag. Punch that face of yours a couple of times for holding his daughter hostage. Oh, Billy, it kills you to see another man around Victoria, doesn't it? You let your insecurity go out and come out and play hard, don't you? When somebody in the fan with your love for Victoria, you worry about that they sugar mamas knowing that ain't fucking true. You worry about that they trying to use her or con her. You mean basically all the shit you basically did at Victoria. But then again, Victoria and Travis have a thing, and they know each other, they trust each other. Unlike her, she couldn't trust you from a hole in the wall, because she'll never know when that hole in the wall might come back to hit her across the head. So, Billy, you can chill with your insecurity somewhere. You can have several damn seats somewhere. I don't know why Victoria just didn't kick you out her damn house and tell your ass to wait outside. That's what I would have did. She gave you that option, but you do not know I wait him. But your low self-esteem man's considered that question that damn man like you somebody father. When you should have just when you should have just seriously took your ass outside and hold your breath. Like somebody supposed to answer any of your goddamn questions. After all the shit you done did to Victoria over the damn years. So I've been trying to avoid this scene for two, three times through three times now, cause then it came on three times. That cat, I mean uh the Mariah, Daniel, and Phyllis scene I've been trying to ignore, but yet yeah, it kid keep on reappearing. I don't know if I want to entertain this episode, I need to uh, entertain this scene or not, because I'm, mm, yeah, the Cassie thing was tragic, it was sad, yeah, it shouldn't have happened, but Phyllis, I'm still going to need for you to sit your ass down somewhere, I'm still raw of you, and I still still kind of mad that you probably steam still at you for cheating on Jack, but I might let you slide. But that man is a grown motherfucking man. He don't need you being his spokesperson on his mouthpiece. Let that man say his part of the fucking story. It's fair to shut the fuck up and go have you another drink somewhere and go get yourself together. Because I'm sick of you by now. Fearless. Didn't I tell you to shut the fuck up? Let that man take responsibility for that. That man been denying that for years now. Let that man tell him too. But he think it's his fault, it's his fault. Don't be trying to deny that man his right to feel the way he's supposed to feel for that night. Cause he was drunk and she got under that wheel. Phyllis, shut the fuck up. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Can you come back to town? Seems like you got a rap on Phyllis and tell her when to shut up and she shut up. You need to come back to town, Daniel, cause I see you can close you can close her mouth real quick. And I kinda like that because I don't want to hear for nothing for her mouth no time soon. So can you please come back um on Daniel? Cause you can tell your woman to shut up and she actually do it. Anybody else tell her to shut up, she just keep on rambling and rambling. Then y'all gonna need for you to stay around a little bit while longer. Maybe you can tell your mama to sit down somewhere. Boy, I see Billy Lord trying to flex some of the insecure beer muscles on him. A man come around and he tried. He attempted to try to do try to throw some dirt. Bitch, that dirty number just come back and hit you back in your face. Now don't you feel like a dumb ass. Billy. You got to learn how to defend yourself better than you defending yourself, but you done let your shit hang all the way fuck out. Uncensored, and don't nobody want to hear it nor see it, but yet you give to us uncensored in the nasty version anyways, don't you, Billy? And you really can't defend yourself when it do come to words. No wonder you like to fight people. Now I see why you love fighting people. Because when it come to a words game, you always going to be the one that's going to lose, no matter who you up against. That's why you like to fight and try to swing on people when they get the best of your ass. Now I see you for your worst now, Billy. So Victor trying to appeal to Dylan's dad's side. Only thing did between you and Dylan, 
Dylan ain't gonna commit no crime to try to get his son to freedom. Unlike you, Victor, you'll use, manipulate, and twist any words possible or any phrases in your in that order to get your way. Then you had another plan that man over the legal crime because he lost his mind and took took. I think that was Chelsea, old Chelsea's son, or whoever that was, hostage. When you lost your damn mind. So now you're trying to appeal to the man. First, you try to appeal to the man. Then in the other book, you go and throw his old crime back in his face. But this about children and protecting them, right? Oh, okay, Victor. You're not away with words. Not either, are you, Victor? That's why you always get mad at people and then you age your voice taking out a scam since you're not good with words neither. Yeah, you're not good with words neither, Victor. You always throw people pass back and slapping them in the face with it too. You're no better than Billy. I don't know why you and Billy don't get along. Y'all practically the same people. They can't win a word game. Y'all have to use y'all drunk muscles and y'all power to try to get over on somebody. Cause when it comes to a word a word or a war of words, you both fell, fall flat on your faces. I mean, seriously, literally, come on to beat the hell out of chill. I mean, out of Chloe. I swear she is such a fucking snitch, but yet you and Chelsea are supposed to be friends. But yet you worry about it's a perimeter, the perimeter clear is, and make sure can Adam come in. Chloe, you some kind of friend. You some kind of prize at the county fair, aren't you? The kind of prize you are throwing the garbage can because you don't want it anymore. That's what needs to happen to your snitching ass, Chloe. I swear you ain't nothing but a big old ass snitch in a rat. Oh my gosh, Mariah, must you show your ass everywhere you go? You get to know this man, but yet he been in the cabinet. He go, you go breaking and making it all awkward again. Talking about awkward sits and. Boy, ain't nobody never taught you how to talk before, huh, Mariah? You just let it, you use another one, let it hang on out, and let it hang out out and don't give a fuck with nobody to think. Ain't nobody, ain't no chance of no way, no hell. I tell somebody, me and Kevin had awkward, crazy sets. That it turned out weird and it didn't feel right. Now, why would you want to tell anybody else your damn business? First thing they're going to think is something wrong with you, not him. At least you both sides end up telling the story, then you're going to big out both of y'all crazy. So why would you go down that tunnel to Mariah? Please explain that one to me. Because I'm confused why you keep on bringing up awkward sex and Kevin out in that same picture. Ain't nobody want to hear it. Be that supposed to be your business, not nobody else's. But yet you keep on throwing it up in our faces, though. But it won't never go away. Yeah, I think Lucas said, fuck that, I'm already going to jail. I ain't trying to rock no pretty shiner. Nick coming up, Nick said, he said, yeah, go ahead and hit me while the police standing here right here. And you can go to jail with me. Oh, he ain't scared because the cops there, huh? Yeah, that bitch is caught with you. Know, your ass would have been like this, huh, Luca? But yet the cops said your ass all protected and ain't got no shame now, huh? Go on ahead now, Luca. At least you did stand up for something and you did my the love summer. But you had to take that right turn, did you? Seven talk to people companies, trying to get into the company by any means necessary. That ain't how you get to know about a new company, Luca. By sabotaging their shit and coming to the rest, you calling yourself trying to fix it. Or you can sneak in somebody to company. That ain't the way it works, buddy. Sorry to disappoint. Well, that was a very awkward, very rude damn elevator ride. Phyllis talking about Billy got veins popping out of his head. Um, Phyllis talking about he got insecure and he lost up a scene and he was cheating and you were cheating. Oh, y'all just realized that y'all were both cheating on each other. What a dumbass you are, and I realized just all of a now sudden, and that little elevator ride, wow, Phyllis, wow. So Phyllis freaking the fuck out on Billy, cause she realized she was a constellation of pride, and she risked her marriage for Billy. Well, hey, you a dumbass for risking your, your marriage and your money over Billy Boy Abbott, A. B, you a dumbass. But even letting him fall for you to my I love you when you actually saying that back to him. So you an even bigger idiot. See, look who you looking at. <laughs> Consolation prize, first place, second place, whatever. If it involved Billy, it ain't really no fucking prize. But yet you I guess you had to learn that the hard way though, huh, Phyllis? 
Then and I don't know what you expecting for your mama and her and her um talking. But yeah, she a dumbass for life when it comes to it. And clearly you can see she went in a rollover for him illegal crimes, illegal activities, treating her like shit, treating your children like shit. Yeah, Nikki a ride or die. You can't find no woman like her nowhere around these days. So I see why she I see why Victor like her, love her. And keeps her around. I ain't a time some shit hit the fan. You know he got his ride or die right there by his side. No, she ain't going nowhere. No, she gonna be there to preach. He ain't do nothing wrong. He ain't do nothing wrong. So, I can preach that you in your ride or die sometimes. Lord. She didn't hung around with the learning of hell. She got the stone cold for to sit there and tell a fucking straight up line without breaking the smile or drip of sweat. Okay, Nikki in training. Go ahead, Nikki training school. I learned to do the stone cold for just like Victor and can raise her voice too. Well, go ahead, Nikki now. God damn, I guess you hung around him long enough. I guess you learned him some shit too, huh? He rubbing off on your ass now. Up there to able to lie in the second and hold that face strong. Get that voice right and go on with it. Okay, Nikki. So the episode ended with Chelsea telling Adam how he got away using his secret hide trick when he was playing Gabriel and Bingham with Sage, and that's how she escaped, and that's how she got away scot free. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe. If you're new to my channel, all my social media down in the bottom bar, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.